Okay, so I'm going to start up here. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a, a paper wand. And, okay, I suppose the idea, as we were talking about, or as I was chatting with you about earlier, is to, I suppose, inject a bit of significance into your wand in terms of the type of, um, I suppose, context that you're interested in developing a wand around. So this is going to be a creativity wand. So it's going to be a wand that, I suppose, encourages creativity and Part of that, I just Googled gems and creativity, and there's a number of different gemstones. And again, I'll show you the website that I used for that. I don't have, obviously, I don't have access to the gemstone, so rather than put stones in, in, the, uh, in the wand, what I'm going to do is just put pictures of those particular gemstones in the wand. Um, okay, and then what I do is I take the page, and I'm going to roll it into the shape, the basic shape that I want for the magic wand. So what I do is I just take a corner, and um, I roll a diagonal. Now, I roll it sort of slightly off diagonal as such. So, um, and around a, um, around a pencil or something like that. Okay, so what I have done here is I have the basic shape that I want the wand. So then I take glue. Put a piece of glue along the paper and I pencil that out, which is fine. Um, and I just I, I, I rub any excess glue that is. Now, the thing is, if this is the shape that I want, I want to keep, then I just need to hold it until the glue sticks, or at least to mind it until the glue sticks. Okay, so because otherwise it will just start unraveling slightly. And if it does unravel, um, take the same sheet of paper and roll it up again. Um, roll it in the exact same way. And the second time you do it, it will tend to um, hold a bit better. Okay, so you have your um, wand shape here. And then you colour it. Okay, so I've decided to colour it orange. And the reason, again, um, is that orange is a colour that is... Uh, encourages creativity and innovation and that so I painted orange okay so you continue with that and then you finish finish your painting of the wand um, now I, I didn't have orange uh, orange poster paint as such so I just got um, pink and you see the pink and the yellow and I mixed them to make the orange um, and just if you're doing that, just make sure you need significantly more yellow than you do pink or red or whatever. Um, and then just get all of the wand um, colored. That's it. So you, what you need to do once it's finished, you just need to leave it dry. Okay, so put that to one side and leave it dry. Now, as with all good videos, um, Here's one I did earlier. Okay, so um, the wand, the paint is dried on the wand. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish it off. Now it's important that you do leave it to dry. Um, uh, so leave it a couple of hours if you can. Um, and the reason is that um, the paint gives the paper a bit of um, rigidity. Um, and it, it's a little bit easier to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick which end is the thicker, which is this end. This end is thinner. And what I've done is I've taken a twig, and the twig is from an ash plant. And again, looking at Google, um, ash is a plant that um, is supposed to encourage creativity. So um, I have my gemstones in it, I have my colour in it, and now I have the ash plant. And what I've done with the, the plant is I've trimmed, there, there was buds along the side of the ash. Now obviously this is a winter, like I mean it's it's January, February now, so um, it's a winter uh, twig. Um, if it were in the summer, it was in the spring, I might have leaves or whatever, but as it stands, it, it's, so what I do then is what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put the um, 
the twig into the center of the wand. Okay, so I'll just put it in there and I suppose a little bit carefully I Okay, so what I've done is um, what I've done is I've uh, pushed the um, the twig through into the wand. So the bud is actually coming out at the top and that's what I want. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull it back a little bit, snip this and push this forward. Okay, so I have the bud coming out the top of the wand and that's actually what I want. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up the wand. Okay, so um, one of the other things that um, I, uh, when I was Googling this, I discovered that um, yellow is also another color of creativity. Now, I have white string here, and that's what I had intended using, um, but I decided that um, to integrate some yellow into it. So what I did was I just um, put a bit of the poster paint into a pot and put in the yellow um, the yellow string in the pot for a while. So the yellow string, it's, so it's, it's quite rigid. You, you do need to leave it overnight to dry. Um, so, um, if you, so what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to put the some of the string into the end. Uh, I'll just make a slide. So what I want, this is a, just a piece of um, piece of newspaper. So what I want to do is I want to seal the end of the wand um, just so that it is, um, it's, it's sealed. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug it with paper. Now, um, I'll just show you in a second. It's, it, it's not, it's important to be somewhat neat, but you don't need to be really neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on it as well. So, sorry, I'm going to put some glue on it here as well. Um, so uh, the glue will obviously seal it up. Um, and now I'm going to put the end of the string in there. And I have it sealed up there now. What the next step is we're going to start wrapping the yellow um, the yellow string around the top of the wand. Now what I want to make sure is that it just creates a good seal on the end. Okay. So it's like the, the yellow becomes a sort of knot on the end of the wand. Okay, that's good. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, now what I want to do, ooh, this is actually getting a bit tangled up, but it's okay. Now what I want to do is move, um, create a pattern up along the wand now uh, with the string. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I have, how I'm going to do that. Um, sorry, I just need to take this off first. I'll unravel it as such. Um, one of the things I've noticed that the, when you do paint string is it tends to twirl up on you. So, so that's, um, so I'm going to get the glue. And I'm going to take a little bit of glue in a piece of paper like this. So I'm going to put this bit of the glue like that. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the string and coat it. running out here so just put another bit on okay 
Okay. So now the string is coated in blue. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the string down along the wand. Okay, until I get to the end, and then I'm going to, like I did at the top, I'm going to use the string to seal the end of the wand. That's a little, took a little bit of, a good thing is that because it's, um, Okay, so now I'm going to bring, actually I don't maybe have enough to bring it all the way back down again, so I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to continue rolling this until I run out. sure that the end of it is okay so that is sort of the yeah it's just tidied up a little bit so things okay there's one other thing that I wanted to put on this now and it's purely on the basis that um, I was looking again at herbs around creativity and it's a common a cumin is a good herb uh, to encourage creativity. So what I'm going to do is at the end of the wand, I'm just going to sprinkle on, and there's glue on this, so it's actually going to hold. I'm going to sprinkle some common on the end of the wand, or cumin, sorry, on the end of the wand. And um, and there. That's it. That's uh, creativity one. Okay, we'll leave it at that.